Okay, this is Renee Arona with Bellevue Trading Post. I'm back here. We've uh, coated all of these pieces from particle board to plywood to press board to cedar to butcher block uh, to a solid wood and also to a piece of slate. You can notice from all of these substrates, if, you, if I catch it at an angle, you can see how the colors come out uh, in the stone. Right, you can see the line going through. The right hand side was uh, just as I washed it off earlier today. Um, and then of course uh, to the left there, you can see the quick seal and enhance uh, has brought out the color a bit. Um, on the butcher block, it is definitely more noticeable since I went against the grain. Uh, you can see the uh, difference there. Um, in smelling these products, I'll pick this up and smell it. There's actually no smell. Uh, uh, residual uh, after this product's dried. On the hardwood, uh, same thing. You can see even uh, where I didn't uh, put the tape down uh, good enough, it leaked under a little bit, so it's it's uh, went across a bit. Uh, that's the natural side, and this is the treated side. On the cedar, um, see where that tape line is going across? That's really kind of where this thing was taped off. You can, it's a little bit more difficult to see because of the grain of the cedar. Uh, it did darken it up a little bit, as you can see uh, with the light. Um, uh, you know, still very beautiful. And then, of course, on the particle board or on, uh, on the plywood here with the uh, uh, veneer piece, uh, it's uh, darkened it up a bit, brought the color of the wood out. Um, that, of course, is the untreated, and that's where I had that little spill. Uh, you can see a little bit of the coating there or the sealant there and then uh, this is just a you know just a crappy old press board uh, again I wanted to test the limits of this product um, so I went ahead and grabbed a piece of that one when I was out on my venture today and uh, we've got that coated and then of course the particle board right and we all know how reliable particle board is <laughs> so it's usually the first to go so to get started here I've got some water and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump water here first of all uh, on this and you can see how it's just pulling there um, there's no change in color so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour a little bit up on this side and we're going to let that sit there for a minute all right and then I'm going to pour some here right in the middle right so that's always a, a really good test there so we'll just let that sit for a little bit and then we're going to do the same thing here to the rest of these Right, we'll just do a nice little a puddle in between the two. And let's see if we can get this over here. That's a good one right there. And then that should be right there on that seal. And um, we'll get that right there. Got a little bit more water than what I wanted. But uh, that's good for a good test. And then uh, here on our butcher block, you can see that butcher block just soaked it in right away. You can see that water just totally went to town, right? So all your two by fours and all your four by six or two by sixes and beams and everything that are getting wet out there. Um, and then of course here we have our a piece of slate. Let me see if I can get it here in the middle. Oh, you see how the water just pushed that off? So water just, I mean, literally just shot over. I mean, it's its definitely got a little bit of an angle here, but there we go. So we got some uh, up on the top. So that's the untreated side and this is the treated side. And again, you can see the color of that butcher block. And then the cedar obviously is 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 taken in and then of course uh i mean all of these woods are starting to absorb that water right away you can see it on on every single one of them you can see how the water is actually uh kind of pushed over uh to that side even though this is on a pretty level surface um, the water has just kind of pulled itself so we'll we'll do a separate little drop there and then of course here we have uh, this particle board right so this particle board has got uh, uh, water sitting on it right now and we'll let uh, that go that's where the coatings were before 
was my little spill. So while we let those sit, and I better put a piece of towel down over here because it looks like the water's going a little far. Keep that from dripping all over my desk here. ahead and just let that sit for a little while okay toss this in the trash but why we do that I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference between a sealant and a coating so I'm gonna put a little water here on this uh, microfiber sponge everybody's probably pretty familiar with these so I'm gonna hold this at an angle but you can see on the right hand side this has been coated with our metal coat gloss and then on the left hand side is actually our satin finish and the middle is just uh, baked enamel so we've got gloss the original baked enamel and then satin finish and that's for the gray one on the white one a same thing so we have gloss it's a little tougher to see see if I can catch the light here to break that up um, it's really just tough because it's because it's uh, get, that, get that off um, there we go so there's a satin finish there's the gloss right so I went ahead and I took a sharpie and I went across uh, all sides of it so um, you can see for yourself so I wet this little microfiber so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you why these coatings are so great all right so basically all of our coatings are anti-graffiti so you can remove right let's see here you can remove that paint or or marks with that and you see how it stopped on that perfect line there and we'll go ahead and go over here to this side see that there how it's just like yeah stopped right there in the middle okay so that's our white right so the coatings do not allow the water to penetrate at all so that's the beauty of our covalent coatings so it just doesn't allow that right so now we're going to go to the gray one basically perform that same kind of test you can see here that the graffiti is just coming right off right and it stops at that line okay look at that so that's the difference between a coating and a sealer so a sealer is breathable it will um, definitely stop water from going through and it will stop some stains from coming through but it will not um, it will still allow water to go through and you can see water actually ran down the middle of this thing found its way away from the protected side and uh, over here on the butcher block it's really wet you can see that the stone now has puddled and it is actually soaked into the uh, stone as well as this piece has just pushed itself again away from the protected side and then the uh, untreated side is just completely drenched so i'm going to take some towels here and we're going to go ahead and wipe this off so the, you can see where the spots are from the water, right? So 
So this is, let's do another one here. Dry off all the water. So this is completely dry on this side. You run your hand across it, it's completely dry. On this side here, you can see that it's wet. So it's wet here, it's wet up over here where the water is soaked in, right? You can see it's almost as dark as some of the spots. On the treated side here, again, the treated versus the untreated. The untreated part of the board 